What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. If you don't know who I am, that means you're new. I'm Mark. What's good with y'all? Go check out my other videos. Check them out. Check them out. But first, stay on this one. So, welcome back to another video in the series of three handguns that are better for home defense than concealed carry. So, I did three handguns that are better for concealed carry than home defense. Technically this morning, but I figured I might as well get this other one out of the way. <clears throat> and I don't know. I chose a, a you know, a, 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 a few pretty good options here in this case. So we're going to start off number one, which I think is going to be the best out of all three here. I think a majority of people are going to agree with me. The SIG P226. The SIG P226 being a full size 15 plus one capacity, nine millimeter hammer fire gun used by the Navy SEALs for like, I don't know, 30 years, something like that, longer than I've been alive. So, I mean, it's got a great of course, reliability is pretty much guaranteed there. And it's kind of funny because with a previous video, I explained, yeah, SIG has made some pretty good guns. This is a perfect example right here. The P226 is a great gun. Perfect, perfect example. So <laughs> moving on from that, though, <clears throat> as a good capacity is chambered in a, you know, a OK round. Uh, reliability is pretty much without question. I mean, what, what else would you want from a home defense gun? Now, granted, you also want that those same qualities in a concealed carry gun. This is one of those examples where I will say, yes, it's not going to be bad for either. Of course, simply due to the size itself, just due to, yeah, pretty much, <clears throat> excuse me, pretty much just the size in this case, it, it's not going to be your best option for concealed carry. When you're looking for a gun for concealed carry, of course, you want to look for comfort. If you're comfortable carrying a full-size gun, by all means, go about it, dude. I'm, I, I support it. You know what I mean? But if you're looking for something that's going to make it a little easier and more comfortable for you to carry, you're probably going to want something a bit lighter than a SIG P226. Now, moving on, one of the few guns that I've mentioned on these lists that I actually do have and remembered to grab this time. I remember when I did the when I first started talking about the <clears throat> these guns, I was sitting there mentioning some of them. I'm like, bro, I kind of have some of them. Why didn't I bring them out? The PSA dagger full size. Now, technically, this is the full size S. So, I mean, technically speaking, this is their version of a Glock 45, I guess you could say, but it takes Gen 3 Glock parts, which Glock 45s don't take. But regardless, that's besides the point. 17 grip essentially, 19 slide. So let's go ahead and talk about this. You get a 17 plus one capacity here, unless you live in a communist state. Of course, that goes with the SIG P226. But <clears throat> moving on from that, a 17 plus one capacity, a lot of people would argue that, hey, I could carry this. I could use it for home defense. I could really do whatever I want to with it. And I mean, sure, you do have some, I guess, some reasoning to believe that it would be you know, pretty comfortable to carry. Uh, it's, I've carried it actually. It's not the worst to carry, but what I can say is that it's really not the most optimal. I mean, it really depends on what position you're carrying, what kind of body type you have, what kind of clothing you're wearing. There's a lot of things that would have to go into concealed carrying a gun this size. Now, of course, this isn't a super huge gun, but I mean, I don't have small hands. You know what I mean? It, it definitely isn't a small gun by any standard. So with that being the case, it just doesn't seem like it's going to be the best or most comfortable for concealed carry. However, the capacity it has, phenomenal. The round it shoots, pretty, once again, a pretty solid round. And on top of that, what we're looking at here is that you can go ahead and if you're worried about reliability from PSA's parts, you can change out these parts with Glock parts. So that's always good. So, I mean, in the end, I really truthfully can more so see this as a home defense gun than a concealed carry gun. Now, of course, PSA has made daggers that are in different sizes, so that kind of changes up the topic a bit. Once again, this is the full size S. So, I mean, they have other sizes. They have the micro. They have the, oh, goodness, they have a lot, actually. But <laughs> not going to sit here and keep harping on the dagger. My whole point is that overall, with it being a full size dagger, they're probably not going to be your best bet for concealed carry. Would it be your worst option? No. Is it going to be your most comfortable or probably your most optimal or concealable option? No. So, I mean, 
there's that. Those are things you all really have to think about here when we're talking about concealed carry as well. We're talking beyond comfortability. We're talking concealability. Uh, so, I mean, in the end, it's it's overall good gun, good gun. You know what I mean? But probably not going to be your best bet for concealed carry. Now, moving on, this one I feel like is going to hurt a lot of old people's feelings. I'm just going to say it pretty much all 1911s. Now, some people are going to sit there and start commenting, oh, well, you know, Kimber and all these other companies are releasing their micro 1911s, and I, I'm not counting those. That's why I said pretty much all 1911s. A legitimate 1911, beyond not just the 1911 platform, but the 1911 handgun is a full-size, single-stack, 45 ACP firearm. Uh, you can find some that hold a 9 or 10 round capacity. You can find some that's only 7 or 8. So what I'm, what I'm getting at here is that overall, they are big. Well, not big compared to like a Desert Eagle or something, but they are clunkier metal guns. They weigh a good bit more. They don't have that great of a capacity. The round is okay. Once again, the, there's nothing wrong with the round. However, the capacity that it has for the weight that it is, it's just not worth it. You're, you're beyond risking comfortability at this point. I mean, I don't even know how you would even get comfortable carrying a 1911. A majority of old people do carry 1911s, which is what's very surprising to me. And honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, that might explain why a lot of these old people have hip, uh, excuse me, hip issues. Uh, that would, you know, it would make a lot of sense actually. Overall, though, the 1911, I mean, a majority of them, really, even if we're going to the single stack nine millimeter 1911s, you're getting 10 plus one. That's an okay capacity, but still, for the size, not really that great. So, I mean, overall, once again. It, it just seems that those guns would be better for home defense than concealed carry, if even at all for home defense, in my opinion. I actually have done a video why I wouldn't use a 1911 for self-defense, but that's a whole other point. If you want to go ahead and check that out, go ahead and make sure to do so. But with that being said, I think that about wraps it up for this video. I knew this video wasn't, <clears throat> excuse me, wasn't going to be a very quick one, seeing as essentially... I mean, uh, all these guns, it's pretty obvious as to why these are probably going to be a lot better used for home defense than concealed carry. One of the biggest reasons, obviously, the size. What does the size of the gun affect in this case? It's going to affect comfortability of concealed carry. It's going to affect the concealability. So, I mean, th those are two very major factors that you don't want to give up when you're going about your, your day, everyday carrying. You know what I mean? But with that being said, I think that about wraps it up for this video. Y'all make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit that bell. When you hit that bell, hit all. And whether or not you agree with me about these three choices I made, I mean, I'm sure there are going to be some people who disagree with me. I know uh, I know a couple of people who watch my videos who definitely carry full-size guns. I mean, if you check my comment section of my videos, there's literally somebody who told me they carry a full-size Glock 21. A full-size Glock 21. But... <laughs> You guys know what I mean. Glock 21, full-size 45 ACP. I am extremely tired. But with that being said, go ahead and comment down below whether you do or don't agree with me and why. And go ahead and make sure to check out all my other videos. <laughs> I can English. Y'all make sure to stay legal, stay safe, stay dangerous. Have a good one, y'all. Peace.